بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Since Islam is a way of life that has been sent by the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's no doubt that whatever Allah has legislated, it is for our own good. And so when it comes to personal liberties, personal freedoms, Islam looks beyond the individual and takes into consideration society as a whole. And this is something that unfortunately, Western society, they don't understand. Because Western society is based on liberalism, which is to give human beings, every single human being, full control of his personal freedom and liberty to do as they want and as they please, even if that means harming others in society. And so one of the greatest objectives of our Sharia is the preservation of life, which is why Islam legislates many rulings to protect the lives of everyone in society. And so although, although the individual is important and you know giving individuals freedom is important, what is more important than that is preservation of a life of, of everyone in society. So when Islam uh, forbids eating certain animals, for example, it is not only for the well-being of the individual, but also for society as a whole. And so we learn that the current pandemic, COVID-19, originated in animals that are forbidden in Islam to eat. And other animals also are known to uh, be breeding grounds for bacteria and disease like pigs. And that's why Islam forbids it. Not only because it's harmful for the individual, but also because it's harmful for others. It will spread diseases and so on and so forth. Also, when Islam legislates laws pertaining to personal hygiene, it's not only for your benefit as an individual, but also for everyone in society, so that you don't spread diseases to others. And so one of the golden rules in Islam is that harm should not be inflicted nor reciprocated. So for example, a Muslim does not eat harmful animals uh, that could be contagious, uh, and that could spread disease to others. A Muslim does not go about his normal life if he happens to be infected, but rather he goes into quarantine. A Muslim does not hoard essential items, hoarding them, because there would be others in need of those essential items. And so what all of this teaches us is that Islam is far more superior in its teachings than man-made ideologies like liberalism and secularism. Because while liberalism teaches that we should give all human beings personal liberties and freedoms, it comes at the expense of harming others in society. Whereas the teachings of Islam balance between our personal liberties and respecting the rights of others to live and to be healthy. Take one example of women covering themselves. Why does Islam legislate that a woman should cover herself? Not only for her own benefit, but for others in society. If she doesn't cover herself, she will be harming herself and those around her. So we should tell our non-Muslim neighbors, our friends, we should tell them that look, we Muslims, we wash ourselves and keep ourselves clean. Not because, you know what, the health authorities have told us to do so nowadays, but rather because our Creator told us to do so 1400 years ago for my well being and your well being. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.